What's happening, Fashion Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought myself a pair of rock ports. You know, something for work here. And basically, they are kind of the old school classic penny loafers. This is the M76445. And I wear a size 10, FYI, in case you want to send me some gifts. But I uh, got them in brown. Uh, this will be a true unboxing. Thought I'd take a look at them, see what they, they look like. And, you know, kind of my... Initial thoughts and how comfortable they are. First of all, they do come packaged pretty well, as you might be able to see here. Um, you know, it's a smart looking shoe, a little conservative, but uh, not a bad looking shoe. Again, uh, real leather. I will say the soles on these are more like moccasins. These are a very, very thin soled shoe, it looks like to me. You know, the back here is look, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, but you know, up here, you're probably gonna get, you know, these can be very thick, but obviously you can see how kind of curved and molded it is. Uh, straight line patterns here, should be decent traction. It's a, a little bit of a softer rubber, so it should, should grip fairly nicely. And as you can see there, this is kind of like a, a light brown I don't know what we'd call it um, you know it's a little deeper than a caramel but it's not like a, a dark chocolate like a chocolatey brown by any means and then, you know they are well stuffed here for the shape and then inside it looks like we have kind of that microfiber suede like material uh, walkability true tech seems like it's pretty nicely padded and you can see here um, even the stitching is slightly more yellow, a little lighter up front than the rest of the shoe, but looks like on everything else it's exactly shoe colored. You do have that kind of penny loafer opening there, and rock port embossed on the back. So, they look pretty good, and like I said, I'm looking for something that, you know, says formal, but looks a little more casual, something not like a wingtip or something like that. So let's just try them on and take a look at them. So here are the shoes. I don't have a shoehorn on me, so I'm not gonna be able to just be a little ginger with them. Oh, plenty of room. Kind of fit in just fine. There we go. Ginger. But yeah, uh, they're very comfortable. Lots of cushion cushioning inside the shoes, so they're pretty comfortable to uh, stand in. And I will say that the, the rubber on the bottom is not like is super, super grippy, it feels like. It's kind of a little bit a little bit on the harder side, but not, not in a bad way. Just you have to understand, I think these thin or the thinner sole are, are more of a oh more of a casual shoe than a real dress shoe type of look. So I think they they certainly feel good. I have a 10 with a medium width and everything seems to fit fine. Uh, and I do like that, that brown. It's got a kind of a rich, uh, you know, like um, saddle leather brown type of look. And I think it'll kind of go with a lot of things. But like I said, you know, when I think of brown leather in general, you kind of think of that distressed leather, that really dark brown. This is definitely a couple shades up from that. but. Overall, I really like them, and they were pretty inexpensive, so around 70 bucks. You know, not cheap for shoes, but, you know, I think a good price for genuine leather shoes from a company like Rockport. I'll put a link to them in the description if you want them. Peter Von Panda, out!